Gentlemen, as your commissioner, wearing a turkey hat for the Week 11 Commissioner's Report of the 2016 World Fantasy Football League season. Thanksgiving is two days away, hence the hat. I don't just walk around with this. Uh, Hidden Blodgett, why? Why not? Okay. We got our Mickey tree. We have another Christmas tree off camera, but uh, our house is festooned with Christmas uh, gaiety, if you will. Uh, I had the girls and we decorated this last weekend, so hence the pre-Thanksgiving setup. But let's get right down to it. Week 11, lots of notes. In fact, I got like three pages of notes. I got my computer on, I got other stuff. Wow, lots of stuff going on in the league in week 11. So Cooper, let's start right out with you. Uh, leading the McCartney division, you won both games this week over my Pirates, uh, and then you beat Weapons of Mass Destruction, uh, thanks in part to a 21-point outburst on Sunday night by Green Bay Packers, A.A. Ron Rogers. And uh, 21 points helped beat me. Didn't really need them, though, to beat Weapons of Mass Destruction. I'll be talking about that a little later. But you've got a four-game winning streak, and with the wins, you clinch one of the eight playoff spots in the championship round. So you, as a rookie team owner, will be playing for Sergeant Pepper's Cup. So congratulations on that. You've got a two game lead for the top spot in the McCartney division with four regular season games to go. So you might be clinching that division as well. And at 17 and five, you have the best record in the league. Congratulations, Cooper. Pauly, uh, the points for PNS team, you won both games to keep pace with the practice squad. Uh, you scored a league high 78 points this week. Four of your players were in double digits. And let me just pull them up. And you had Breeze with 12, Johnson 19, Brady 18, and Boswell, your kicker, with 10. So uh, nice nice scoring out of four of your guys. Those guys amounted to, let's see, 28, uh, 40, 59 of your 78 points. So it's nice in the end of the season to start uh, getting some production like that. Um, you beat uh, Pete Top, Matt Bottom, and Taco Corp this, win this week. And the wins helped you also clinch. Uh, playoff spot in the championship round so nice job on that um, as I said you're just two games out of uh, first place in the McCartney division with four left so you got a shot at it so uh, Matt and the uh, Pete Top Matt Bottom team even though it's Pete Top Kevin Bottom I'm just referring to you as Pete Top Matt Bottom uh, you stopped a five game losing streak uh, with a split this weekend so you lost to, to Pauly uh, but you beat Bloody Helmets doesn't take much uh, you scored 42 of your 61 points, though, from three players, one of which was Andrew Luck, your flex player, and he's on concussion protocol, it sounds like, for week 12, so sucks to be you. Um, you're 12 and 10 overall. You're third place in the McCartney division. Uh, you you did not clinch a playoff spot. So uh, Martin, Cool Hand Luke team, you lost both games. You lost by five to Bucky Sun, and then you lost by three to Taco Corp. You're 10 and 12, fourth place overall in the McCartney division, uh, but just a game separates you in fourth place and the fifth place spot uh, for the championship round. So um, that's kind of close. You and you and Mike Sherry are very close, so it's going to be a battle to the end. Uh, speaking of Mike Sherry, Mike Sherry and the Groves 4B team uh, split for the weekend. You beat Bloody Helmets again. Who doesn't? Um, and you lost to the Legacy. You lost to da Dawson. Uh, even with your 31 points on the bench, I couldn't come up with a combination that would have helped you get uh, the sweep. So I'm sorry. Uh, but you're 9 and 13. Again, huge improvement over 2015. You're in fifth place, but just a game out of qualifying for the championship round in the McCartney division. So uh, again, the last four games of the regular season, huge. Or as our president elect would say, huge. Um, me, my team, I split. Uh, I lost mainly because, as I said, to A.A. Ron Rogers' uh, performance on Sunday night, but on the good sense, hold on, itchy nose, uh, the Green Bay Packers did lose. I was okay with that. Uh, I beat Rafi's Revenge, so that was always good, deflecting some of those Bucky votes because Lord knows my team is performing now. 7-15 and 15 overall, uh, but I'll basically need to sweep the last two weeks and get some losses from Cool Hand Luke and Groves 4B in order to advance to the championship round. So there is still hope. Um, as Princess Leia said, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Uh, let's go to the Lennon division. Chad and the Weapons of Mass Destruction, who were this huge, powerful dynasty, look like to run away with the 2016 
uh, title of the season. They were just scoring great gonzos of points. And what did they do this week? Uh, they laid a giant <laughs> turkey. Uh, league's best team scored a season low 33 points and lost to, ouch, McCartney leader, practice squad, and Rafi's revenge. Ouch, that's, that hurts. You had no one scoring in double digits and you only had two points on the bench. So uh, your team, quite frankly, sucked this week. So, uh, losses dropped your team to 15, 6, and 1, and into a tie for the best record in the Lennon division with Bucky Sun. Um, you do hold the top spot, though, due to most points scored, but uh, you did clinch, even though you were swept, you clinched a playoff spot in the championship round. So, congratulations on that. Uh, Luke and the Bucky Sun franchise, you split for the weekend. You lost to the Legacy, but you beat Cool Hand Luke. Had you gotten that sweep, you'd be in the top spot in the Lennon, but uh, it's okay. You, with the split though, it enabled your team to pull into a tie with weapons uh, for the top spot in Lennon, and you did clinch a spot in the championship round. So, uh, congratulations to the Bucky Sun franchise for that. Um, Dawson and the Legacy, you uh, won both games this week. You beat the Sherry family, you beat Gross 4B and Bucky Sun, uh, which pulled your team to 11, 9, and 2 overall. Three and a half games out of first place in the Lennon, but. You clinched a spot in the, in the championship round. So in the Lennon division, we have Weapons, Luke, the, leg, uh, the Legacy, no, Bucky's son, I'm sorry, and Dawson, the Legacy, uh, all clinching. Three of the four spots now are gone in the championship round in the Lennon division, which leads us to fourth place. Uh, Steve and the Taco Corp franchise, you put a, a screeching halt to your five-game losing streak, um, but you split this weekend. So you beat Cool Hand Luke, but you lost to points for Penis. You're seven and 15, fourth place in the Lennon division. Uh, only one spot remaining in the championship round. And you basically need to win during the next two uh, weeks to, uh, if you want a shot at three Pete. So I know you had a busy week this weekend with Vikings Gophers Wild. So I'm almost wondering if you got the win because your wife, Christina, AKA Jenny, took over the team for this weekend. I don't really know. All you gotta do, just win and advance, baby, and you could have a shot at three peats. So, um, Eric, the Bloody Helmets franchise. Well, you've lost five games straight, and I pick on you a lot. Um, yeah, let's just leave it at that. I pick on you a lot. Uh, you could only muster 41 points this weekend as you lost to uh, Pete Top, Matt Bottom, and Groves 4B. Uh, you're seven and 15, fifth place in the Lennon division. Next two weeks will be important ones if you want to advance to the championship round. I'll get to that a little bit later. Rafi's Revenge, Cessna, you split this weekend. Hey, j just get a win, okay? You are 4, 16, and 2. So, but one of your wins, it's got to be nice to have beaten your division leading team, the team that was a powerhouse, uh, weapons of mass destruction. That's got to feel good, your former college roommate. Of course, though, you lost to my Pirates. But, um,. You still have a chance at uh, getting into the playoffs. I mean, you are only, oh my God, I mean, you're, you're two games separate you from fourth place. It's gonna, these last two weeks are gonna be phenomenally fun to watch. So uh, let me reiterate the following teams clinched playoff spots in the championship round and the right to play for Sergeant Pepper's Cup. In the McCartney, we've got practice squad and points for PNS. And in the Lennon division, we've got Weapons, Bucky Sun, and the Legacy. So three of the four in the Lennon are gone. Two of the four in the McCartney are clinched. Uh, Commissioner's Games of the Week for Week 12. I got uh, Grove 4B at points or at uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm sorry, Mike at me. Uh, why? Because uh, well, we're fifth and sixth in the McCartney. It's this is a big game for playoff potential. So uh, that's why I put it in there. Also, I've got. Uh, Rafi's at Taco Corp. That's a big one in the London division. So um, you got to win these last few games. So uh, we're in the last two weeks of the regular season. And I looked at um, some of the teams that are really fighting it out for... Um, playoffs. Lost my train of thought. Uh, two weeks left. So uh, the McCartney division, we have two spots remaining. Uh, I have four divisional games remaining. Matt has 
four divisional games remaining. Mike, you've got three, and Martin, you've got three. So those four guys fighting for the last two spots, uh, we've got a lot of divisional games left in the last two weeks. In the Lennon division, with one spot remaining, uh, Steve, you've got three divisional games left. Eric, you have three divisional games left. And Cessna, you've got four. Um, let's reminder, boop, Thanksgiving on Thursday, eat till you puke. But we got three NFL games this weekend. We have no buys, so just remember that. Uh, we got Minnesota at Detroit in the first game. Washington at Dallas in the second game. And then the night game, Pittsburgh at Indianapolis. It looks like a, a full day of great NFL football. I mean, Minnesota and Detroit leading the NFC North. Uh, Washington and Dallas, two pretty good teams there. Dallas, I think one of the top teams in the NFL. Um, and Pittsburgh and Indy. Um, yeah, I didn't really look them up too much, but I'm sure it's going to be a great game. So, gentlemen, from the commissioner's office, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Again, I'm thankful for each and every one of you. Put a little asterisk by Matt's name on that because he, he may go off that Thanksgiving list after Thanksgiving dinner. So, anyways, have some pumpkin pie, fill yourself with turkey, and I say good luck in week 12, and gobble gobble.